fruitful. Sometimes we'll be talking, and they will say to me, um, Daddy, uh, the person we were talking about was wearing a blue shirt, red, red gown. I, I said, I didn't see the person. I said, where was the person sitting? He said, so, 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 the person was sitting there. I said, uh -huh. he said, he's wearing, he, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Me, I don't see what you hear. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So that's how I'll bring clothes to wear. My children will be the one telling me that he just wore this the last two days. As far as it's neat. No, it's the clothes to I will wear it. That he just wore it last week. He's not going to wear it again now. I love it. I don't have any problem. As what is killing himself. The worst is family pressure. Now hear this. If you don't know how to say no, eh, you have failed. If you don't know how to say no, one of my sons called me, he said, he's a pastor. He called me from Portacot yesterday. He said the grandmother died. And uh, died of the whole family. This is grandmother or not mother. Grandmother. He said of the whole family. It's like he's the only one that God is helping. I said, so? He said even that the mother and some people came from the village to come and tell him that they have to do something. That he has to do something for the woman's burial. I said, now listen. Don't tell them that you are not for that Christmas. Tell them that you are not the only child. <laughs> you use brain, eh? Tell them I, uh, you are not the only child. So, they should draw the budget. And everybody should take his share. His share. They bring your, even if they give you, you give you fifty percent, give them the fifty percent. But don't do it alone. If not for life, they will leave the whole family burden on you, both. And very soon you discover that you can't, you can't rise again. The worst is even putting yourself in a tight corner for people who are not appreciative. The same people, the day you look for money, they are the people that will say that you were useless. That you were chasing women all around. Chuburumwekin and wine. Hello. Raise your right hand. Grace to say no. Receive it now. Somebody in this church, the best evil, the person, the wife, I don't want to discuss too much. You may know the person. The person, the wife was even having problems for conception to have a child. It was in this church by the grace of God. God touched her. She took him. The same people can be ungrateful. The same man. Sometimes the wife will come here in the morning. At the door there, she will stand here. Start crying. I said, why are you crying? He said, the husband. The husband and the mother, the husband, the mother, the husband's mother and the husband, two of them will come like and face her. Dry wood. You can't have a child. Oh man, it was on this altar that badness was broken. You know what? They now deliver the baby, but it was through CS. The man ran to me here at the staircase. He said, please, look at how much that is involved, that uh, uh, he has run around, that he has gotten some money. He is remaining about 50000 I just said to him, sir, the church will do something. But now, that was even that time some things were still undone. He said, after so we'll do something. But if there's any other place you can get, get. Later we can do something. Because of how long you stayed here, your commitment in church, your wife is a department, you're a department. I didn't know that, that that was trouble. The man went, got money from anywhere, the woman came out. And then the same man and the mother now sat down and said that they will not come to this church again. Why? The woman, the, the wife, the, 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 the lady came to me, crying. She said, See, this is no. I said, why? He said, because church did not give them money. Church did not give you money to pay your bill, but church gave you a child. It was from this altar. God did it from here. If you didn't have the child, will you, will you be looking for money to pay for a bill? People can be ungrateful. Though. 
There are people you are helping now. You think tomorrow that when you have need, they will help you? You inconvenience yourself, even go and borrow money to give to them. They are the ones that will tell you tomorrow, God, get away you there. You call them on phone, please. Can I have 20,000? They will busy the line. You need to know when to say no. Now, here it is. Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself, not more than yourself. In case you don't have understand that, Bible, that scripture. Love your neighbor as yourself, not more than yourself. You cannot... What does he want me to do that time? I should go and borrow money because the wife delivered. There is none of my child that this church paid the bill, the, the hospital bill. Five children, none. You know, there are people who believe that you are all of it. I don't know. Am I talking to somebody right now? They believe, ah. Even when you're telling them, you are able to, you want to now naked yourself to them. You say, I don't have it, oh, I don't have it. You say, it's a lie. Do you know that this thing I just said now, we were discussing here one day, and I said it. A man who was not a member of this church, he said, Pastor, that thing you did was not good. You could have given them money. They got a barrier, 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 barrier. A barrier, man came, you are not Love your neighbor as yourself, not more than yourself. Don't borrow money to go and hold village meeting. If they disturb you, tell them you're no more in the village meeting. And it doesn't stop you from being a member of the village. Okay, just imagine. I don't know whether what they wrote on the night is true. I don't know what they wrote. Whether it's, whether it's true. So because sometimes all these journalists and social media people can add their own. You understand? From what I read on the night, the wife of the man said that the highest money the husband has ever given to her is 200000 Then what is he amassing all that wealth for? You go and borrow here because of your mother. You borrow here because of your brother. Borrow here. Borrow here. Borrow here. Now, let's see. Let me tell you something. Let, hear this. When you are always there for your family, eh, you have stopped them from being responsible. These are my children now. They are enjoying everything. They are enjoying everything. A time will come, I will shut down. Do you know why anything they ask now, as far as I have it, I give them? It's because why will you deny them? It may make them to go and steal. Or begin to do what is not good when it is there. A time will come and shut down just to create in them the sense of responsibility. I don't have a money tree somewhere. You sh it, it takes work to get it, so learn to work. I read a book where the man said, as the son got to seven, 18 years, it called the son one day and said to the son, from now, I'd like you to know that money does not fall from a tree. You work to get money. And the son said, Dad, what are you trying to say? He said, from now, before I give you money, you must work for me. I read that book. He's a white man. He said that was how he created in the boy a sense of work to make money. And the boy became a millionaire. How? He started by telling the boy, anytime you want money, wash my car. You want money, mow my grass. Without that, no dime. Free money makes you a free fool. Because you have some money little thing they give you. Hey, give, give, give. Cut. Stop that. Listen, church is not church is not a, a philanthropic organization. Thank you. Am I talking to somebody here right now? We are not into philanthropism. That you see, well, uh, any problem, I'll just come now and see the pastor. He'll give me money. My friend, go and walk. The money you want to collect, somebody gave it as offering. My God, are you hearing me? You 
able to give offering. It's another person money you want to collect. Greed. You see necklace, you want it. That was what shattered the destiny of Gehazi. A man qualified for quadruple anointing. Elijah said to Elisha, what do you want? He said, I need double of your anointing. Because he served him. Gehazi was now serving Elisha with double. What do you think he will get? Quadruple. The master had a client that came for prayers. He prayed for the guy. Leprosy left. It's okay. Take offering, sir. Hey, the guy said, no. No. I'll not give you offering. I'll not take your offering. Go. God has healed you. Go and thank God. Gehazi, the servant from somewhere. I can call Gehazi the PA. Now cited the man as he was going. He said, wait, oh, you mean my august spare this man? May I see offering? Gold. Purple clothing. May I see you? Nah, eh? That's why my guy is poor. Even when the nature I am here, that's why my guy is poor. He still he saw this kind of money, he didn't collect it. Okay. He went behind. He said, Come, 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 come. My guy just called me now and told me that he made a mistake when he told you that he does not need your offering. So bring it. Yeah, the man said, Ah, bring it. He said, Just bring two from them. He said, No, no, no. What am I? If you want, take all, take all. The guy carried it. I've made it. I made it. Covetousness. Made it. As he was entering the house, the seer, Barakato, said, Gehazi, come here. He came. He said, um, where are you coming from? <laughs> he said, did not my spirit go with you? As you went, my spirit went with you. I saw you collecting what I rejected. You don't know why I rejected it. Now, hear why I rejected it. God used me to heal that man. But now, hear this. To every healing, there is a different approach. That man is sick of leprosy. I don't know how he got the leprosy. Whether it was his sin or whatever. Didn't you see as your ogre? The man expected me to come out and lay hands on him. I didn't come out. I said, go to Jordan. That's how God directed me. Maybe if I had laid hands on him, I will carry his sickness. So now that you went to collect from him what I rejected, the leprosy of Neymar. Come on, you and your children. A man qualified for the anointing now carried generational leprosy. His children will be born to see themselves lepers. And they will ask him, sir, how did it come to pass? How did it happen that we are carrying leper? You tell them that I was too greedy. I was too covetous. You want everything. There are ladies that change soap. Not because the one they are using is not good. They just change it because they had somebody say, ah, you see my soap now. It's so so and so. 500 naira. And then from the Irish you are betting. You change immediately to upgrade as a big girl. Who knows the soap on you that you use? It does not show your skin. Nonsense. You are depressing your life to impress people. That's my wife. There was a time we were not going to dry cleaner. No laundry, no dry cleaner at all. Which dry cleaner? You never chop with a good dry cleaner. I can wear one shoe, one shoe for 30 days. One shoe. If you go to my shoe rack, you'll be surprised. There are shoes I've never worn. I've never put my leg inside and wear it outside. That's one I told them to bring from my wardrobe upstairs and bring it home. From South Africa, somebody brought it. I've never worn it to any place. Who are you competing with? your family put it under pressure. A time came, I discovered that every time I, my father sees me, he was telling me one problem or the other in the village. And the thing was sapping me. I will make money, but you can't. Me. They didn't know that me that was giving them money. Yeah? I didn't have a foam in my house where I sleep. So one day I now decided 
I'll, the Bible says, honor your parents. And to honor them, you give them money. I say, Lord, I will honor my parents. I will never say, I will not give them money. But from now, I put them on salary. Every month, so, so, and so amount. Whatever is the problem that is more than that amount, let the Lord handle it. That was how I bought my phone. That was how I bought, started buying things in my house. People can suck you dry and get fat looking at you dry. Do you know that some, some people who beg from you, they use phones that are bigger than your phone. A carry heavyweight phone. And then I keep their neck. But he said, let him chair. Pastor, I'm with him in there. Pastor, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. One day I'll take my time and talk on the consequences of covetousness. I'll take my time and talk on it. Let me not waste all the time. If you find yourself in that trap, come out quickly. Don't let anybody put you under that pressure. What nonsense is that? Can you believe this? For more than four to five years now, I've never bought a new tie. Any new tie you see with me is a gift. I don't buy tie. I'm, I, we didn't have air conditioning in our house. Air condition. No, where, where are you air conditioning? We didn't have air condition in our house. And we were carried we, our first crusade at Terminus. The total budget after the crusade, we checked the money spent. Nine fifty you see one million, nine fifty to one million naira. And yet I don't have air condition in my house. Look at how they put air condition in my house. The first air condition when I was living. One flat. Americans were coming to see me and they told me they would not stay in the hotel. They must stay in my house. Hell! To worsen it, I even tricked them. Before they came, we paid for one hotel somewhere. I don't call them of the hotel. So I don't sponsor another person's business. But I didn't know that that was how the toilet of the room was. One of them went to urinate, a woman. I didn't know that the toilet was like a throne. As she was trying to climb there, she fell down. Then I called her phone. Pastor, you need to come here. Somebody's dying now. <laughs> she looked at me. They went even the America got shot down here. Somebody, somebody is dying now. We carry them. What's the name of that hotel? Uh, uh, close to Abia Puli. Is it Crest? We carry them there. It didn't work. Hey, they had to put air condition in my house fast to relocate them. That's air condition came up. I was sleeping my thing, JJ. He must get to bite me. I go and buy fleet, kill all of them. Sir. <laughs> Hello. There are people, every new electronics they must buy. Every new electronics they must buy. Now, here it is. I want to teach you something. Don't forget it in a hurry. You are making others rich and making yourself poor. <laughs> Some people think so, they do guy you. Tango, I know be that kind of guy boy you. I'm a village boy. I went to the farm with my mother. Farm, carry you home. <laughs> you do this like praise and worship dance now. <laughs> I carried home. I broke palm canner to pay school fees. If you forget where you are coming from from a hurry, they will take you back there. Don't forget where you're coming from in a hurry. If not, you find yourself back to that place. I broke Pam Canal to pay school fees. You just come back say uh, uh, school fees. They say we must pay school fees right now. They say, hey, when is it? They say next week. It's okay. This is your portion of Pam Canal. When you finish, they go and sell it, get to your. And you know how how big the school fees was then? 64 naira. 64 naira school fees. 
64. All same secondary school here. 64 naira per term was what I have to break from Carnell. Greedy people are dangerous people. If you have any sister that has big eye, everything flashy, she needs it. Everything big, she needs it. Anything expensive, she wants it. Remove that person from your life. Even if you have that person as a husband, you will suffer. Because he can spend money to buy a wristwatch, but will not give you money for soup. Am I talking to someone here right now? There are girls like that too. Hey, girls. And they brag with it. You say, um, my bra, my bra, my bra, my bra. It's 30,000. Oh, what are you, my he? Church, leave me alone to preach. You may can get it. Let the Holy Ghost give you the interpretation over there right now. Some people go and buy boxer, expensive boxer. We are that. Or click a straight. What a miracle swire. And then when they wear that kind of boxer like that, that's why they do sack, you know. Last sack, so that you see the brand. Don't move like that. You're a prisoner. prisoner. <laughs> I am myself, oh. Hello. There was a young man that was sacked by his boss. The boss, make, you see, if you are working for a man and the one man, man wants, wants you to make money, if he's a rich man, he knows what to do. He'll just give you small space and pretend as if he doesn't know you think you are smart oh my oh my oh he knows oh my he mega he knows you're making money so this guy was making money and then one day the boss entered his house as his boss entered his house the boss was surprised wow what is this he saw the guy with his friends ice cream this and that he said what is this he said that he's celebrating his birthday it's okay have you made enough money now to give people food Buy ice cream and do birthday. That was it. The boss closed that channel. Poverty came. It is stupidity for you to be working for a man and be shopping in the same shop where he shops. You are simply telling him that you now want to be a big boy like him. Rub shoulders for like with him. Your boss buys socks in a place. That's why you go to buy socks. The same amount. And you cool. See, that's the next one. I'm trying. Excuse me, are you getting blessed? Uh, because I'm no more hearing your voice very well again. If the thing is hitting you somewhere, change. Simple. If, if it's hitting you somewhere, do what? Change. Change, change you. Change. You see somebody wear a new suit, you not target it. You know, you know, you want to wear that kind of suit. And you don't have that kind of salary. If car is my problem, car, car. You know that since the Sienna came, when the person that brought it, God used to sow the Sienna as a seed, okay, the Sienna. The documents is carrying chapel of answers. It's not my car. That's Sienna. It's not my car. It's church car. Since the Sienna came, I've been going on it. I don't even have to go on it because the gear is uh, is um, uh, what do you call it? High gear. You know, you have to do I don't like it. Well, I just like the floor gear. Just push it and move. That's the normal one. I don't like it, but I'm driving it. I'm driving it. They used to drive me. And I left the door for my wife. If car is a problem, listen to me. You come here on Sunday, you see new car. You see a clean jeep. Clean one. The 
Bible says, for the life of a man does not consist of the abundance of things that he has. What you have does not determine your value. It's your impact. It's your impact. One day, one day they were having an ushering meeting here. They didn't know I was behind them. Look at where all the ushers gathered. So we're here. Come in, a man. I don't know. Locate me. They were here having a meeting. So they didn't know I was behind them. I had them. They were contributing. Is it to 200 naira or 500 naira? To 200. One of them told them he doesn't have money. And I was happy. One of them said to her, Every time you tell us that you don't have money, you will never give in anything we are given, but you change clothes every day. That was a good one. There are people that any Sunday no new clothes, they don't go to church. It's demonic. It's demonic. And that kind of demon, what you need to use to cast it out is opete and Aziza. <laughs> so come here. Do do ti do. Tam. Up one, up one, tap. Okay, for tap. You can't steal until you are greedy. You can't steal until you are greedy. You can't steal until you are covetous. It's not possible. The content of what you have. Hello? This belt on my waist. Thank, that's why if I want to buy something, I make sure I buy good quality. If I want to buy something now, I, it may cost money. The reason why I buy things, not because they're expensive, I buy them for their quality. This belt, if I lose it now, I'll show you the back. You see it's already peeling. This belt. Oh my God, I'm happy flowing. The back is peeling. I was still wearing it because the leather is heavy. I bought it expensive. It's still peeling. It's peeling now. So that's how, that's my daughter. So that's how I will, I will pull up my trouser and I, I, they'll say, ah, you go, 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 Number three, live within your means. I didn't ask you to go and buy a belt from you. You go and buy the one I don't like. I didn't ask you to go and buy a belt now. So that is a belt and a pillow. I'm going to try. Anything you give me on that grounds is under pity. So I don't need it. And I'm not, I'm not telling you that the belt is not good. It's very powerful. It's going to try. Yeah? <laughs> a pastor in, I like that pastor. A pastor in Winners. Winners Lume in Togo. The pastor entered the market to go and do evangelism. And a member of the church saw him. Hey, pastor, pastor, you're in the market in Togo. Pastor, pastor, pastor. I ran inside his shed, brought out the shoe, gave to the pastor. The pastor looked at him and said, I don't need it. He said, pastor, I'm giving you a shoe. He said, get out. Don't you know my office? If I didn't come here, will you give it to me? It's not all giving that is accepted. If he did not go to the market, if he didn't enter the market for, for don't you know, he's a member in the church. So you know I should wear shoe. You are waiting till I come to the market. No sense. If you buy belt after today. We my boom name use the belt since. Now they say come gas on that belt. How promise like that? <laughs> Number three. <laughs> Praise God, somebody. Number three. Live within your means. If you watch, I'm just quoting scriptures offhand because I'm trying to cut the time. Live within your means. If they pay you 5,000, make your plans around 5,000. Hello. Now hear me. Don't forget this because I'll just be brief here. 
you don't plan with what you don't have. You say, I'm going to marry. So, you know, somebody will give me something and then you're planning with it. No, you don't plan with a promise. What of you, the promise failed? Somebody waited last two or three weeks. He ran into my tank. It was just God. I picked up my phone and called the person. I said, How are you? He said, Fine. I said, Come. I saw your wedding card somewhere. How come your wedding you didn't give me an invitation? The person said, I'm sorry. I don't know how to come to you. It was just God that made, that, made me make that, make that call. I said, Okay, come to my office now. I love you so much. Whether you invite me or not, I'm a part of your wedding. Come. In our came, I said, So, how far? Hey. Is that one of my one? I want my one. I said, why are you like that? When you are, when you are getting married, why are you want a license? What is the matter? He said, hey, now, what pastors have done to him? A lot of pastors made promise to him. People promise a lot of things to him, and this is just two days, three days to the wedding. I think so, two or three days to the wedding. He said, all of them that made promise, he's not calling them. They're not picking. Don't plan with a promise. When somebody make a promise, act as if. Nobody said anything until you see something. Hello? Plan. Live within your means. Now, Dada, Dada, that, that's not getting him, not getting him 20,000. So, come to go in the blouse, Anna. Money blouse on credit. Money on credit. Dada sent his ear that money. Have you seen it on Facebook? A girl that they, they harassed. The boyfriend took her to go and fix her hair. She sat down and told them powerful style, powerful with one. As they were putting it like that, the, the boyfriend disappeared. The guy, Chow Wei, yeah? He's on Facebook. They just held a girl. <laughs> you scissors. Kabush, 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 kabush. I remove everything. You will not see shame. In the name of Jesus Christ. Live within. And now here it is. Do you know why people don't live within their means? Pride. And what is pride? Overestimation of self. I'm a big girl. I'm a big chick. Which of the chicks are you? Turkey? Or peacock? Which of... <laughs> I'm a big boy. Which one are you? Which one? Somebody is blessed today. Oh. Yeah. Now listen, without these things, you will live, you will, you may, the person may die in debt. You will, the person, will, like that prophet that died, they're going to take the children as collateral. The person will die in debt. Put discipline on your life. Hello? This shirt I'm wearing is not foreign. I'm a plain person, no? Oh. I'm a very plain person. This shirt I'm wearing is not foreign. How did it even happen? Somebody came to see me and brought materials. He said, that's what he sells. White. As I saw the white materials, I said, aye. Nida, you're my son. So you know I like white shirts. Both with my leg and my hand. Be blessed. <laughs> Everything, be blessed. Immediately I called them. I said, get me two tellers that will go fix it for me. Call somebody. Tell them what I want. Fix it. It's not foreign. You know, when Obama wears shirt, you say it's expensive. Even when he bought it in Okrika. But when you wear shirt, even if it's expensive, people will commonize it. So it is not what you wear that determines who you are. It is who you are that determines the value of what you wear. Somebody is blessed. Never marry a wife that puts you under pressure. Huh? Go and display, go and display, go and display. Can I run you so? Display, 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 display. You display each other say like this. In the do my one of the wicked. Baby, 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 today, everybody like what I said. Inside your heart, you with you. One of my daughters in the Bible school said, You talk as if you don't have privacy. I said, listen, I want, I'm a real person. I don't have fake life to live. Hello. The first time I bought BYC on this for my wife, she said, what? How much? I told her. He said, no, 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 return it. Return it. 
Father God, you may see her, you may think, why did he marry her? I saw something. Look beyond the physical. When I got married to her, you know the soap she was using? Premier. 20K, 29. <laughs> Premier? European Premier League. <laughs> Premier. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. 20. 20K. They were trained in their house. The one I gave back to five girls. You can't maintain girls. You give grace to maintain ladies. Five girls, five. So all of them, they had their registration card in North Africa. All of them. <laughs> hey, protocol. When I'm going, please, you have to help me. But I'm still, I'm still afraid because... No matter how you protocol me, you will leave me at the bedroom and leave. <laughs> Have mercy on me. All of them grew up like that. Grew up. Before God now blessed them. And all graduates. God bless them. And uh, we had to make money. But yet, I bought that on this brother. So it's too much. Buy it. Put hot water. Wear it. Nobody see what they're wearing inside. Even as I'm talking now. Let me stop there. Let me stop there. Graduation. She not even feel why yeah. Didn't feel. Once I climb the altar, Obi a map ya piam. Ah. Why why? And I'm not a guitar. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Nobody hearing my voice now will remain in depth after today. <laughs> ah, I want to close with the prophetic. I have other points. Next Sunday, I do it. Hello? The third service is a must. As a matter of fact, if you're a member of this church, you need to be there for the graduation. You have to be there. There's no excuse. And uh, the same time, we'll keep it. If you watch, second service was to close for what time? Second service was to close what time? 11. See, so, yeah, it's a few minutes after. So I, I know what I'm doing. I manage my time well. So I'll close now. We run second service. Before 1.15 or 1.30, it's over. Am I talking to somebody here right now? I thought you clapped more for Jesus. I told her, I said, God has blessed us. There's no need going to Okreka again. And yet, it doesn't stop us from wearing Okreka. Now, well, somebody came the other day, brought me some things from Okreka. I thanked the person, pray for the person. Nice things the person brought. I'm wearing them. In short, there is no short, no short now. I'm wearing in the house. Except the boss sacks. That I bought brand new. All of that is Okreka. I don't know how they came. There's somebody in the church here. Just went like I bought it, brought it. Thank you. God bless you. Be blessed. If I don't tell you where they got it from, will you know? So what's your problem? You do you know that they even do competition of lipstick? What kind of lipstick do you use? So I use 15 naira lipstick. Can want a cre? Can want a cre? There ain't one they use here, eh? I tell you like this. Oh, I You know, as a person, call me. I'm not joining the kiss. I'm not joining the kiss. I'm not joining the kiss. Kiss, 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 kiss. Kiss, kiss, kiss. There is no kind of competition people don't do. No stupid competition. And stretch your hand. I cross the spirit of competition among us. Do you know that some people even compete with pastor's wife, compete with their nursing mothers, even nursing mothers. They do competition of, uh, of, uh, of handbag. Handbag. Carrier. 
They do the competition, all of them. Competition. Competition. When you now go home, your husband tell you, I love you. You say, I love you. You say, I love you. The man will now come under pressure. Say, oh Lord, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? I got popcorn at church. I got church also. I got popcorn at church. I got My wife used napkin for years. Our first child, napkin. Second child, napkin. Napkin. When they poo, you wash. Poo, you wash. And the worst is to man one kind of dangerous man like me. I didn't wash for one day. Wash what? So you just have me get, got, got married. Your husband does not even have up to 100,000 in, in his account. And you are insisting pampas. If you buy pampas for three months, the man's business will close. That's where we started from. Don't put your life under pressure. Am I talking to someone here right now? Now, do you know why I'm talking to you like this? I can just say, um, second one is greed, and I close. I want, to go, I want to touch you. The reason is because, listen, listen. There's no need saying I'm pastoring you without telling you the truth. Deliverance is not only with prayer. There is deliverance with the word. Hmm? Even competition of toothbrush, competition of, of toothpaste, all manner of competition. Competition of nail. Nail. That's uh, hired nail. Oh. It's hired nail now. Somebody said all these girls that everything about them is artificial. You're on Facebook. So everything about them on, 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 is artificial. We didn't let us rest. He said their hair, artificial. Their nail, artificial. This one, artificial. Eyelashes, artificial. artificial. Artificial, artificial, So you will not blame some men that after wedding, only two weeks after wedding, they saw, yeah? Go, 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 go. He said, what is that? I thought you said you love me. No, what I saw that I said I love, I didn't see it again. Waka, waka, waka. Everything artificial. Everything. Everything. Just between uh, check it, check it, check it, check it. Hey, even the boys, even young men. When a young man is wearing an expensive belt, not put it like that. Yeah. As a big boy. Then for that reason, he can't wear a suit. So, even if you wear polo, after wearing polo, on mata. You still tuck it in here. So you see the head of the belt. As a big boy. We move in. Now we don't want your. Come now, working now. We don't want your. Take it easy, yo. Take it easy. I'm living a simple life. No competition. I am just myself. Hello. Oh. Okay, watch it. Where my wife fixes her hair. Can I continue? Mom, I'm to record something that I need to come. Come on. Where she fixes her hair. God just did it. The person is now a member of this church and does not collect money from her. Now you now see how fix her. He say, Ishaan, Ishaan, mommy, man. Ishaan, Ishaan. You now do it with your money. No, the woman does not take money from her again. Once she wants to fix her hair, she just moved there. The other day I told her, I said, hey, I can go to get back. You should need me fix it. She can call it free, 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 free. Free, 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 free. It's like me now, my haircut, I don't pay. Dry cleaner, I don't pay. You know, I'm still asking God to give me somebody in this church, a mechanic, so that even my car, I will not pay. <laughs> even the car, I will not pay. And then you're not going to do competition with me. I'm not spending my money, you are spending your own. Tell your neighbor, don't kill yourself. I mean, four to five years now, I've never bought Thai. Thai. This one, they brought it from America. It's more than two years they brought it. She bought my book him. But I'm preaching. There's no doubt I come here to preach now. You say, Daddy, I don't like your Thai. Don't touch me. Am I going now? Let me see. Praise the Lord. You will not suffer. Amen. I said you will not suffer. Amen. I can't hear you. I said you will not suffer. Amen. I want your voice to come. I said you will not suffer. Amen. 
the person that makes this, like this kind of clothes she's wearing now. Chai shineke me. Ngapo no wanyaka. This kind of clothes she's wearing now. The person that made it. It was a member of this church that introduced her to the person. The person was not attending this church. Now the person attends this church. The person attends this church now. And cannot collect what she collects from other people from her. You know what I Why you couldn't put this thing? Every morning, eating her headache. Headache. Is she not walking? I saw again, again, again. That's an attack. One attack all. Take it easy. The people you are competing with are not aware that you are competing with them. Stop that nonsense. She now walking like this. Now I say high BP, high BP, high BP, high BP. Yeah, when we go, go kill yourself. Oh. If you, if anybody comes from my village and comes, I say, uh, you know, you are our brother. I just tell you I don't know you. I don't, I don't do village things. All this, everything you want to go. Every December, if you watch, every December, people put themselves into pressure. Now, now look at the paradox. Look at my hand as I conclude. Look at my hand. You are living in the town. As you are living in the town, you've been yourself. You eat what you like. We are what you like. Even your village members, we used to see you. You're going to meet in the village. They're in the town seeing you. See the kind of shoe you're wearing. They've seen that you wear shorts. You don't have good shirt. They see you everywhere in town. Just within two weeks, you go to the village. Put yourself under pressure. Man, I need them shoe on. Man, I need, I need this. Then, um, um, our house, Uruguay, Uruguay, at least, I have to do something. I need two bags of rice here. I need five bags here. Then I need ten crates of mineral here. I need this. I need that. I need this. The people you are going to impress already know in the town that you are living in face me, I face you, and you don't have anything. Village champion. Rise to your feet. <laughs> this one you are finding it difficult to stand. I better stand though. Stand! I waited with GL. With GL ring. GL. That's what I waited with. Anointed GL. Nobody will say you're not married, you're not wedding you because you are wearing, you're not wearing, you're not bringing gold. Any girl that tells you if, you, if it's not gold, I'm not wearing, tell her, marry yourself. Or marry gold. Simple. Hello. A boy proposed to a girl. The girl said to the girl, the, the boy, I accept. When I'm having an engagement, the girl, the boy said, We're gonna, I'm gonna engage you, bring something. It's okay. Make sure it is a gold ring. That was the last day he saw the boy. And how did I know? She came to me for prayers. He said, The boy that proposed to me, I can't see him again. Uh, pray for me. That guy is doing well. He's well to do, you know. I said, how? He said, he, you know, he travels abroad, comes back, you know, all those stuff. So he proposed. I said, why did he not come back again now? He said, I don't know. Don't know. That's why I came. Pray for me. I said, um, um, you mean nothing happened? You mean nothing happened? You didn't offend him? I said, I didn't offend him more. He just, I don't, I, all I just told him that day now, when he said he wants to engage me, he said, I, that I'd like him to uh, engage me with gold ring. I said, hey. You engage you with gold ring. You're going to marry yourself. Nonsense. If this greed is even to the extent that you are married, but your eye is in another person's own, remove your eye. Where am I at? Lift your two hands. Bring down your hand. You don't like the message? 
Are you blessed? Yes. The message of only prayer. Just go and practice it. Simple. Lord, deliver me from greed. I don't want to be, to, to, to be under pressure again. Hello? A young man joined this church. A young man joined this church from another church. When he came, he came to me. Like, like if you want to join the church, you can just walk into the church now. All you know, start coming to church. That's all. But this one, he came specially to my office. Before the first Sunday he came home, he said, I want to join your church. I said, do you apply, apply for it? He said, because why I came to tell you is, I want you to know I'm here. Number one. Number two, I want you to know why I'm coming. The first church where I'm living, my pastor duped me. I said, what do you mean? He said, the pastor duped him. That guy is still in this church. Pastor Anyuku. Ichibamoto. With the kind of people God has blessed in this church, if I want to be getting at least 500 every month from you guys, I know what to be doing. Mortgage phone. Ncho wana mama. Borogi. Sege cho. Kaho foge. By next month. Drop of 50 here. Hello? Now listen, you can only fool people for a time. You can't fool them for a lifetime. Lord, thank you for speaking to me. Lift your voice and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I can't hear you pray. Lift your voice. You are not praying. Thank him right now. Thank him for delivering you from error. Thank him. Thank him. Wave your hands. Lift your hands above your head and thank him. Thank him right now. Wave your hands and thank him. Good God. In Jesus' precious name. See what the Lord is telling me now. Because if I keep you, say, let's keep praying. I say, pray now. Bind the devil so that you come out of debt. You will pray. If, if, even if I want to take five prayer points. But see what the Lord is saying to me. He said, remind them. So what do you think that I've talked out of point? He said, remind them that the major reason why people can't praise God, people can't thank God, is because they don't see what God has done in their life. All they see is what God has not done. And it's greed. So we are going to use five minutes to say, Father, thank you. You have blessed me with everything. I don't lack anything. Is anybody ready to make that prayer right now? Say, Ma woke had the ikibe. Ma woke had the ikibe. Oh, we call name. Oh, we call the pastor. Leave a good here. Shh. Until you start seeing what God has done and stop seeing what he has not done, you will never thank him. Hello? You may say to yourself, I don't have a husband, but remember that some of your age mates are in the grave. God gave you life so that you can be a candidate for marriage. Appreciate him for that. You may say, I don't have a child, but you are married. There are people of your age everywhere looking for who to marry. They don't see it. Nobody is getting married to them, but God has given you a life partner. There's something to thank him about. Please, if you, everybody stand. If you don't do this, God will not be happy because look at where I was. I did not see mother's area I spoke to me. He said, go and tell them now to thank me and praise me for what I have done in their life. They should stop seeing what I've not done and then I will do more for them. Anybody ready to, to praise him right now? If you give him genuine praise from your heart, he's going to do one more thing in your life. Lord, look at me. He may learn everything. He may, that is, do you know? Do you know that there are no matter who you are, do you know that there are people praying to be like you? They admire you seriously. Serious admiration. Seriously. So thank God. Hello. If you are sitting down, you are disobeying the grace and the anointing in this house. And it will not bless you. So stand up quickly. Everyone, 
lift your two hands with a loud voice start saying lord you have done everything well for me open your mouth and thank you Lord jesus right wave your hands and thank him wave your hands come on now glory to god In 16 years for the first time. Today, God said, I should call you and pray and bless you. Kneel down here. This one is not just impartation. There are times I just do impartation. I just say, everybody come out, I do impartation. Just pray. Phew. I've never laid hands on her like this. I prayed for her. I prayed on phone. I've held her hands and prayed. But the Lord said, Bless her. He reminded me something. After I proposed to her, she accepted to marry me one day. I said to her, I've proposed, you have accepted to marry me. But you didn't ask me whether I have a house. I said, You didn't ask me if I have a house. You just said, You marry me. He said, But you said you're a pastor. I said, Yes, I'm a pastor. He said, If you don't have a house, we'll sleep in the church. Face the camera. Everyone you see that is ungrateful is because the person is discontented. I 
I'll sing that song again. If you can't sing, ask God to help you. If you can't shout, ask God to help you. If you can't dance, ask God to help you. I'm going to sing that song again. And I want everybody to be happy. Be audible. Thank him. And listen, if I hear God here, and when I say, I've, look at what God said, you see the testimony. You will see what will happen. Only by dancing and being happy because God has blessed you, nothing, you are not lacking anything. Between now and next week, you are coming out of death. You love my wife? You love my wife? You can't love me alone, love my wife. You love my wife? Open your mouth and pray for her right now in the name of Jesus. My brother, my brother. He married the man. 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 He married. In the name of Jesus, sweat your two hands. Today, I declare yes. In your humility, you have enjoyed the grace I enjoy. But today, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, the hand of the Lord rests upon you. I declare. That everything you feel you are deficient of, everything you feel you don't have, now you will see it in yourself. I declare <laughs> that everyone that has ever thought or felt that they are competing with you, you'll be bigger than them. You'll be greater than them in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Enjoy strange favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be sick. You will not die untimely. Now hear this. The same breakthrough God has given to me in ministry. He gave you the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Since you followed me. You dropped every other ambition. You said whatever I'm doing that's what you do. You can't be in ministry and not be known. I've blessed people and God introduced them. Therefore, I declare, my God introduced in the name of Jesus Christ. Among women, you will stand out. Among women, you stand out. In the name of Jesus Christ. You followed me when I was nothing. Now I declare, the Lord make you a voice. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you continue in humility, continue in loyalty, may favor never dry up in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
none of our children will be ashamed to us. In the name of Jesus Christ. From now, enjoy grace. I bless you from my heart. I bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Already, I don't have anything reserved from you and before God. Already, I give you anything you want. You have access to everything. But today, now, I pray. My father, give her her own. Amen. Give her her own money. Amen. Name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Your hands will not lack money again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. As we do this work together. God. Who called me and you. Will see to eat. That you will not labor. And another man will eat. Peace forever. Rise. Hello? There's something about ministry. Ministry is a very, very sensitive thing. There's something about ministry. You may be close to a pastor and not carry his grace. You can even be his wife. You can be the husband. I have, a, I had an, I have an, an invitation to Canada. There's something I considered. I said to her, you can go. We're supposed to go together. I said, you go. You go. I don't have anything reserved. I said, you go. I said, ah. I said, no. We have to go together. I don't keep anything from her. When I say I love you, I, me, I love. I may act in a way that makes you feel I don't love you, but I love you. I do. And each of such act is a mistake. I do. Hello? I do. The two services today are too powerful. The anointing is heavy, I'm telling you. Oh, I am here. I am the, the kind of unction on me. Oh, well, we are. I'm telling you, it's too heavy from first service. Too heavy. Too heavy. Therefore, come. Come and pray for them. Pray for every single here. That the God that gave you a husband will give them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, to many that desire to have a life partner, Lord, I decree by this time next year, may they be in their husband's house. Amen. By this time next year, may they be in their husband's houses. Amen. And Lord, as many also that believe a life partner, Lord, may they find a good wife. Amen. Bible says that a prudent wife is given by you. Lord, give them a prudent wife. Amen. Lord, give them a wife that will love, respect, and cherish them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, likewise, Lord, to all the women, all the ladies believing you, Lord, also give them a husband that will love them, yeah. that will respect them, yeah. appreciate them. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Now, sit and listen to me. I command you to take off your hands from their lives. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. I decree no more delay in the name of Jesus. No more delay in the name of Jesus. No more delay in the name of Jesus. Bible says you will not withhold good things from us. Lord, this is their heart desire. 
Bible said the expectation of the righteous shall never be cut off. Lord, may their expectation never be cut off in the name of Jesus. I decree that your heart desire will be given to you in the name of Jesus. Peace forevermore. In Jesus' name. Pray. Pray for everyone. Pray for every marriage, every home that don't have something to eat. That from now, food will not lack in their house. And then every woman believing God for a child. The next three months, they shall be confirmed pregnant. Pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I decree that the God of Reverend Chibese Ejokeze visit every home that lack food to eat in the name of Jesus. Lord, the same way you visited us when we had nothing to eat, no hope of the next meal, Lord, you erase it from our life. Lord, I decree that you are still the same God you never fail. Lord, erase it from their lives in the name of Jesus. You spirits of lack and want, I bind you and I curse you out in the name of Jesus. I decree from now henceforth, fruitfulness all run in the name of Jesus. You shall never lack in the name of Jesus. I sent for the supernatural. The supernatural forces to make supply of everything you need right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I decree as many that believe in you for the fruit of the womb. Lord, you have blessed me. Lord, I cannot have children and they will not resemble me. Lord, they are the children you've given to us. And Lord, I decree, Lord, by your mighty hand, yes. Lord, give them, the, give, them, give them as many children as they want in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. I come against low spam counts. I come against follow up uh, blockage. I come against whatsoever the devil is using against them not to have children in the name of Jesus. Amen. Satan, take off your hands from their wombs in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bible said that we shall be a fruitful vine. Lord, I decree, Lord, as many that their mother-in-law, sister-in-law have asked them, where is your God? Lord, this month visit them. May they miss their period this month in the name of Jesus. Lord, the breast you have given to them is not for decoration. It's not for fancy. Lord, they will carry their baby, they will deliver their baby, and they will breastfeed their babies in the name of Jesus. Any coven where they have tied their womb, any witch, any witchcraft, any man, any woman that have said that they will never give birth, wherever they are, may thunder of heaven visit all of them in the name of Jesus. Carry your baby in the name of Jesus. Carry your baby in the name of Jesus. Take your baby in the name of Jesus. Peace forevermore. In Jesus. Now I decree, everyone here, you believe that prayer as you stretch your hand before the next 24 hours, there shall be a manifestation. 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 Be a manifestation. In the name of Jesus. Papa David Ibiomi has a brother, junior brother from the same mother. He's also a pastor in, in the same ministry. But when he prays for the sick, nobody gets healed. Until one day God spoke to him. 
He called out his brother and prayed for him. From that day when the boy, when the young man prays for the sick, they get healed. I was there one day, the, the man of God said, God spoke to him to pray for his wife. He called his wife up and prayed for the wife. Now he prayed for his wife does not mean he has handed over his ministry. He only released grace on her to do what he's also doing. Am I talking to someone here right now? There are ministers that when you hear their name, you hear their wife's name. Two of us. And there are those you don't hear their wife's name at all. But today, they will hear her own name. Give the Lord a big hand. Package your offering. Quickly. All the Bible school students, I have not forgotten. You are graduating today. Lagos, Kebosh, 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lift your offering. Have we given offering before? So lift your offering, your tithe. Ushers, let it be like with the speed of light. With the speed of what? Speed of light. Next Sunday, there will be anointing service in the third service. There will be what? In the third. That anointing is anointing for supernatural favor. Supernatural what? Favor. Because I'll teach how to come out of debt. Part three in the second service. Third service, anointing for there are debts you can't come out from without favor. Praise God. To everyone giving, I declare you blessed in the name of Jesus. Grace and glory rub on you. Jesus mighty name. Very fast. Please 
children's children. Stretch your two hands. Aligros is osi karabushi atani. Ilim brus kubre nis kubrani krehush kibrani. Robreke te zuzi atanabari ya horohoske. Bushka badika. I karabara horohoro horohira harahira hare. O zusku perege de ruzia. Father, thank you for the privilege you've given to me that in 24 hours, you hear my voice and you act. Therefore, I declare to someone in this service, in the next 24 hours, that thing that will give you joy will come to you. It will come to you in the name of Jesus, right? It will come to you in the name of Jesus, right? No more shame. No more shame. No more pain. No more shame. No more pain. No more shame. No more pain. No more shame, no more pain, 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 in the name of Jesus. Man of God, this kind of anointing. You don't, if it had been like a two service or one service, I'm telling you, some of you here, they'll carry you home. They are anointed on me. If I start now, <laughs> I also do myself. But the third service may do small. Do small. Because the anointing, it comes to bless. The anointing comes to do what? Bless. That man that testified that day, when God spoke to me that somebody was in the dream and they use they want to make him a masquerade they want to put masquerade on him maybe if that man didn't come out and i prayed for him maybe the testimony that he gave he couldn't have given it so when the anointing comes like this it's for release it's for what release somebody will go with a definite touch thank you father let's appreciate him for all he has done in the second service thank you father for all you've done in the second service thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you In the name of Jesus. There's a lady here with breast fluid. You have breast fluid. You know, you have this discharge. You are totally healed and dry in the name of Jesus. As I'm talking to know that you are the one. It's not that I just said there's a lady. It can be anybody. To know specifically you are the one. You, you are not breastfeeding. You even, have, you, are, you even have a pad. A breast pad with you. You know, because of the fluid. You are totally healed and dry in the name of Jesus. The neck, the third service starts immediately. Watch it, and it is for the graduation. All I will do now is the law of application I'm supposed to preach. I'm going to cut it short. You know what I did last Sunday? Was it okay? So I'm going to do something like that. By one, latest one thirty, we are out. Because even me, I want to travel. I want to go somewhere. So, hello. Thank you one more time for what you have done. All right, thank you. Jesus. In Jesus' name, the grace, the grace.